Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and I'm the department chair and instructor for learning strategies here at VC. In today's video, I'm explaining the study cycle and how you can use it to improve your studying and learning. VC's Total Learning Center presents Dr. Deb Explains the Study Cycle. The study cycle was developed at LSU and based on Frank Christ's PLRS system. It consists of five steps that students should take before, during, and after their studying. First, students should begin their studying by previewing the material before they go to class. This may take long, five to 15 minutes, but it is vital to the learning process as it helps to determine what prior knowledge you already have on a topic, and it helps prepare your brain for incoming information. All you need to do is skim or scan the textbook chapter that will be covered or the PowerPoint notes if they are provided. Then, actually attend class. This part is vital to learning. Obtaining the notes from a classmate or an instructor is no replacement for attending class and hearing the material yourself. While in class, you should note the key points or ideas and ask questions if you have them. Don't try to write down everything that is said or presented on the PowerPoint slides just jot down the key points. Then you should review your notes as soon as possible after class. Fill in any gaps. Look in your textbook and fill in the information about the key points that you remember hearing about in class. Develop questions that may appear on the exam or that you could use practicing retrieving the information at a later time. This step should take no more than five to 10 minutes. Next, you will want to actually study. LSU recommends the intense study session, but you can use any method that works for you. I will examine a few in an upcoming episode of Dr. Deb Explains. Ideally, you will want to schedule at least one study session, 20 to 30 minutes, for every class every day. Then, after your studying, assess your learning. Did you learn what you intended to learn? Do you need another study session? Using the study cycle can help you effectively and efficiently break down your studying into specific parts. It encompasses everything we have learned about studying and learning, and it ensures that you practice each item as you study and learn. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think about the study cycle and how you can use it to improve your learning and studying. If you want to know more about how to be a successful college student based on theories, strategies, and principles for college success, Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and check out my other videos as Dr. Deb explains.